Hello Ford Puma lovers, I'm Matt from North Harbour Ford and I'm going to run you through this Ford Puma ST line. With the ST line you get keyless entry, so what that means is you can just put your hand here to unlock the vehicle, there's a sensor in the door handle and to lock the vehicle when you leave, touch that little ridge, too easy. With the Puma ST line you also get the hands free tailgate, so what that means is if you've got the key on you, you can just manually push the button to open the boot automatically or you can do a simple gesture of just kicking your foot underneath the car and your boot will open, bada bing, bada boom. Then you've got the Puma's huge boot, which can adjust in many different ways, as you can see here. And then your spare tire is under there as well. Space for days. And to close it again, you can just kick your foot. Coming around to the fuel, as you can see on the sticker here, it says minimum 95. So it's designed to run on 95. So don't put 91 in there, don't put diesel in there, and don't put milk, coke, or juice in there either. 95. Coming to the inside of the vehicle, you've got your different seat adjustments. Obviously the bar at the front to move it forward and back. This is your lumbar support. This will increase and decrease the height of your seat. And then back there, you've got the recliner. Coming down here, you've got your boot button here, which will open and close the boot. Front fog light, rear fog light, these control your main lights, so that's off, that's position lights, that's your headlights on, and that's auto. And then these will control the instrument cluster brightness. If you want to just turn on the ignition without starting the vehicle, push the engine start stop button without your foot on the brake, and that'll turn the ignition on. If you wanted to start the vehicle, push the button with your foot on the brake, and that'll get it going for you. Alrighty, so on the interior, I'll go through some of the non-basics. This is the lane keep assist button on the indicator. If you push it, it'll say lane keep assist on, and what that'll do is it'll vibrate the steering wheel every time you start veering out of the lane. You can change its sensitivity and also change it so it'll age you back into the lane. Cool safety feature. On the other weird stick thing, you've got the wipers, but that's off if you push it all the way down. One up from the bottom is going to be automatic, and this will change the sensitivity of the automatic mode. And then if you keep going up, these are just going to be adjusting it manually. On the side you've got off for the rear wiper, intermittent, and on. This little section here will control everything on the instrument cluster. If you push this up, you can see different things like tire pressure, traffic signs, trip computer, fuel economy, and a calm screen which will keep it nice and clean for you. You just control that by moving that up and down. Pushing this button here will bring up the menu for the instrument cluster. So you can select different screens like I showed you before. Audio, navigation, phone, settings. There's a lot of settings in here that you can change. I won't go through everything, but that's where you find them. Alrighty guys, so this is our cruise control system on the left side of the steering wheel. In the ST line, this will be adaptive cruise, and on the standard Puma, this will be standard cruise, which will just hold a certain speed. With the adaptive cruise though, you can adjust the distance you want your car to be following the car in front of you at. The way you do that is you push this button here with some tiles below the car, and that will increase and decrease the distance between you and the car in front of you. So if they brake, you'll brake. If they accelerate, you'll accelerate, but won't pass the speed that you set. With the ST line, you also get this button here, which is lane centering. If you push it, it'll come up with a steering wheel up there. And what that'll help you do is it'll help you stay in the center of the lane, which is really weird at first, but it's really, really cool. With the lane centering as well, you can actually override it, just like you can with the lane centering assist that we talked about earlier, just in case you would rather do something else. Hopefully up until this point, I've only confused myself and not you guys, but I love the Ford Puma and I'm going to keep talking about it anyway. Coming down here, hopefully you guys know what this is. You've got this button here, which will adjust your different drive modes. So if I push it, you can cycle through normal, eco, sport, slippery, and trail. What these will do is it'll change the vehicle's driving dynamics. This is our traction control system. If you push it, you can turn the traction control off and back on. This is just semi automated park assist. If you push that, what you can do is you can parallel park, reverse park, or get set up to exit a parallel park, just using that feature there. You just have to do as you're told on the screen. As my fiance would say, I'm not very good at doing it as I'm told, but I can make this work, so if I can, anyone can. On the bottom left, you've got your auto start stop. So if you don't like the vehicle shutting off at stoplights, you can turn that off there. Then you've also got your parking sensors, which you can turn off. If you're going through a car wash, for example, you don't want them yelling at you. 
they'll turn them off. Coming over to the stick shifter, you got parallel, race, neutral, drive, and manual mode. If you put it in a manual, you can decrease and increase the gears by using these paddle shifters up here. In the standard Ford Puma, that will just have L, which is a low gear, and it will lock it in the first gear. Just kidding about the race, that's reverse. If you want to race, put it in the sport mode. In your climate controls, you've also got this here, which is an electronic defrost for your front windscreen. If you push that, your front windscreen will defrost very quickly because it uses the battery. Coming up, this is where your beacon is. These buttons down here will adjust your sound settings like treble, mid-range, bass. These are your seek buttons. That's your play and pause or mute. And then this will change the display. Coming into the Sync 3 system, you have two pages of radio stations and you can adjust the sources using that button there. You get AM, FM, DAB and Bluetooth audio. Over here you've got your phone menu, your phone keypad, so if you want to dial mum every day, you're more than welcome to. Moving on, you've got navigation. If your beacon doesn't work, this is where you're going to find all your addresses if you want to type them in. This is the ABC keyboard. I have only met insane people that like that keyboard. If you want to change it, push that little world, change it to QWERTY, and now we're normal again. You can also set your home and work addresses so you don't need to type them in all the time. Coming over here, you've got mobile apps. Now this is basically only for navigation apps on your phone, so if you don't have any other navigation apps installed, it's not going to come up here. Coming over here, you've got settings, which is obviously we're going to find all your settings for the vehicle, or some of them. Remember, the other ones are mostly in the instrument cluster. This is where you can find other ones, like connecting your car to Wi-Fi, so it can do automatic updates for maps. Exiting the vehicle, you'll be prompted with this alarm system, full guard and reduce guard. Now, full guard is just a standard alarm system. It'll guard the inside and outside of the car. If you have an infant or a dog or cat in the car or anything like that, that will move and could set off the alarm, chuck it in reduce guard and it won't set off the alarm. That basically wraps up my brief overview of the Ford Puma. It's a great vehicle. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, I'm Matt. Please feel free to get in touch. I'll see you next time.